Hi everybody, Gary Williams here for Toolbarn.com's Barn Banter. Hey, today we are going to talk metal. And I'm not talking about the kind of music that you used to listen to that destroyed your hearing all those years ago. No, we're going to talk about metal work as in construction. So, we're going to show you a metal cutting circular saw from DeWalt that will make short work of a lot of those metal cutting projects you might have. Then we're going to talk abrasives with one of the least abrasive guys I know, Jim Messner from United Abrasives. And then we'll show you a new angle on grinder designs from Metabo, so stay with us. This is the new flathead angle grinder from Metabo, and there are some improvements in this angle grinder that you might not find on other models. I'll give you just a couple of real brief examples. You can move the guard and rotate it, rotate it into just about any position you want by simply hitting this release. And that's an improvement because you don't have to loosen any set screws or any collars or anything to uh, move the guard so that you can direct the spark shower away from you, which is always a good thing to do, or anywhere that you really want it to go. <clears throat> As you can see in the video, this flat head allows you to get into some pretty tight spaces, uh, 43 degree angles, which you can't do with a lot of those angle grinders, or most of them anyway. Um, other features include overload and jam protection, uh, it's got uh, electronic speed stabilization and there is also a battery operated model that has a 5.2 amp hour battery and that is the most powerful battery on the market today. So there are a lot of things to recommend this angle grinder. Check it out on toolbarn.com. This is the 18 volt metal cutting circular saw from DeWalt and this is really a great tool. This thing makes nice, straight, clean, quick cuts in metal. Uh, it's got a sight line window so that you can kind of see a little bit better what you're working with and that's always a nice thing when you're working with a power tool. It's got a steel shoe to help avoid chip buildup, um, and it's battery operated. 18 volt batteries uh, from DeWalt right here. Great tool to have, very handy to have on a job site and uh, you know where you can find out more information about this little thing, don't you? That's right, toolbarn.com. Check it out. Today we're going to talk abrasives, and you know, for most people, abrasives mean sandpaper and maybe abrasiveness means uh, the next door neighbor or something, but we're going to talk a little bit deeper than that. We're going to talk about abrasives that you might find with our abrasives, not an abrasive expert, but an abrasives Absolutely. expert, Jim Messner from United Abrasive. And Jim, you uh, have a whole lot of different things going on here with abrasives that really people may not think about. So I'm going to just let you kind of dive in and start explaining these okay. things for us, okay? Well, let me start with something I think every homeowner could use, and that's a flap disc. And this is a compilation of this type of material in di different flaps, just okay. like this. This is a high density. These are great if you have a lawnmower blade that you like to sharpen, yeah. or if you work on cars, it finishes it out beautifully. What's nice about it is, is you can control your grind much better, your finish, yeah. you can clean it up so you can paint it, use it again on your lower blade so you sure. can sharpen something else. Yeah. Wish I'd have yeah. brought the mower in. We could have done yeah, that right now. Yeah, we could have now. done a demo. Been a few on it. years, yeah. And uh, <laughs> in the various grits, you can do. It. You can actually sure. knock it down a weld. Yeah. And and more and more people are using these rather than you know the old traditional grinding wheel, right? Which are used uh, more and more just to knock down big welds. These yeah. are a very aggressive wheel. Most homeowners probably just use them very very little. Yeah. If you're a farmer, this is great. Yeah. If you're working on yeah. implements, it's sure, stuff. sure. And then we also have sanding discs. Yeah. And we make a variety of sanding discs for the guys who don't use this. They're still the old timers who like to use sanding discs. Mm -hmm. So these are great. And something else that's very new in the industry are cutoff wheels. Mm -hmm. These are very good in four and a half inch grinding wheels, six inch grinding wheels, because right. they're very portable. You can use them to cut any kind of metal. Just boom, you stick it in there, cut, and away you go. Hardly any cleanup at all. all right. And and for a construction guy out on the field, they're perfect. They don't have to carry a big quarter band with them. Right. So very, right. very good products to have. Right. A lot of portability, a lot of work gets done with those, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. This thing intrigues me. It looks like a lava cake that I had for dessert not too long ago, but I know that's Well, this good. is a cup stand. <laughs> yeah. And this is designed for the guys who are cleaning up big pieces of steel right. that have slag on them or uh, scale. They come in right there and they clean them right up. It's very, very aggressive, very fast, and it makes their job much easier. I doubt that any homeowner will ever use one of these. If they do, I pray for them. They got a bigger problem than yeah, yeah, just yeah, have slag on the Higher yeah, professional. Yeah, right, right, okay. And great. we also make sandpaper, the traditional sandpaper, sure. but that's also evolved now where you've got sterated paper, uh, uh, coated papers for every type of application. Yeah. So it works out. There's almost anything you want now to clean up a weld or touch up a paint job or something, they've got it in an abrasive market now. Great. Well, we always talk about getting the 
right tools, right equipment for the right jobs, and of course, you've got quite a variety uh, here, uh, angle grinders and other types of abrasives. Uh, so I would encourage all of you to take a look at toolbarn.com. Thank you for uh, joining us today, and thank you for joining us today, Jim. Thank you very much. Take I appreciate care. it. It was thank great you. being here.